Welcome back to another video, and yeah, thanks for all the support in the previous video, really meant a lot. And yeah, today I've gotten something spicy. So, Flower of Truth obviously got nerfed, you know, people are mad about it. Whatever, stay mad, we're gonna move ahead with our Soul Whip. Now, uh, the reason I'm using Soul Whip right now is because, you know, it's it's damage figures. Uh, let's see, let's compare the damage. So, the damage is 165, I'm talking about the weapon damage. So, that the weapon damage is 165, and then the strength is 359. Comparing that to the Flower of Truth, the weapon damage is 120 and the strength is 544. The crit damage is 50% similar. So yes, the strength from your Flower of Truth is very high compared to Soul Whip. It does not matter. Uh, outside of dungeons, my Flower of Truth it deals around 103k damage, while the Soul Whip it does 78k damage. So yes, it is a bit of a difference there in damage, but I don't feel like it's really going to matter that much. Now, I used... I used both of these right during Fragrance, I was using Flower of Truth before and then I switched to Soul Whip and I was pretty satisfied so that's why I'm making this video. Now before we move forward with this, now the price of Flower of Truth for a clean one it's 5.8 mil on the auction house, for Soul Whip it's kind of expensive, it costs around 18 mil, um, yeah that's a lot of money and also on top of that it, it requires Fishing 16, uh, wait Fishing 26 actually, so yeah it requires Fishing 26. Um, which you guys could wait for marina or you can always do some spooky f spooky fishing or something I, I i don't even know what gives you a lot of fishing xp just do some research and you know do some fishing you'll probably get to fishing 26 relatively quick because i got there pretty quick during technoblade was the mayor so yeah mm, you can do that now i have a clip of me uh doing a floor six frag run which will be in the end of this video after i'm done talking now uh i'm gonna talk about some pros and cons of this thing so first of all uh as we are used to our flower of truth just you know dealing a straight ability damage and the soul whip it does not deal a straight damage it kind of arches if you see it, it draws an arc right so it goes up and then it plays down so yeah for soul whip i'd say it's range is about 10 10 blocks even though it arches a bit uh, yeah, it does not deal a straight damage, uh, not on the straight path. You need, so you, while you're using this, you'll be doing a lot of back and forth action, right? You'll be sneaking, all right, just backpedaling a bit, because that's that's the only way to deal damage to the mobs right in front of you. You need to have some distance with the between them. So and yeah, if you have been doing soul farming in the dwarven mine, um, you so say you you will basically have an idea of how to use this thing. It's a little bit hard, um. I wouldn't say hard, it's a little bit complex, but you know, you'll get the hang of it, I did. And yeah, it's honestly not too bad. On top of that, uh, Flower of Truth, uh, it only dealt damage to like three of the damages when using the ability. Now with this one, what will happen is, if you flay this thing and the mobs happen to be in a straight line, right? You see these particles, right? If, if it makes contact with all of them, then yeah, you'll basically be killing over three mobs at a time. And so yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit of a plus, um, but yeah, you do you do kind of like miss some mobs, like 3 out of 10 times you will miss a mob, but that won't be much of a problem. Uh, you don't really have to be like, you know, you don't have to keep on clicking this thing, even though if you, if you do so, it's going to be much better. You can hold it down as well. If you do so, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to take a little bit of time, like, you know, 0 0.5 seconds. It does not have a cooldown. It does not have a specific cooldown, so... Yeah, you can just hold on to it. I mean, the cooldown is there. This, when you're flaying it, the ray kind of takes a bit of a time, and then to get a new one out or to get the new particle or what, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, um, you know, there's there's already a 0 0.5 cooldown, 0 0.5 cooldown. So yeah, um, that's something to keep in mind as well. Now my soul whip is just two starred, and my flower of truth is four star okay i thought it was five star but okay so it's four star and the damage difference was not so high uh so yeah i honestly kind of like using the soul whip and when i was doing the golems it basically shredded through them as well so i highly recommend this now i'm really bad with this so i'm just trying to think if i missed anything oh yeah okay so the healing the healing is much better uh, when you're using this. You can use Siphon, Siphon, whatever is the you know the normal healing that you get from Siphon when you were using Flower of Truth post nerf. 
oh wait pre-nerf um then yeah it's basically similar to that i'd get like one or two hearts each time i'm hitting a mob so yeah it's not that bad at least um but yeah i think that's to be expected when you have 18 mil price tag on this thing right i really hope soul whip does not get nerfed by like you know if this gets nerfed berserker is really 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 dead so yeah i hope this does not get nerfed and uh, i guess i'm done talking you guys can watch the clip and yeah basically have a good day peace I ain't no